excited to be at the Jupiter Ocean and Racquet Club. Director of Tennis, Robert Fisher, great friend of mine. We go back a long time. Exciting times with my Grand Slam winner student, Alice Ferreira. Alice, we've known each other a long time. Great time shooting some sports ed TV tips. Nothing like learning from the best and learning from players that's won world doubles titles, Grand Slams. Uh, but of course, you were blessed with a little talent, Alice. Right. Well, we had a great time, uh, John. It's so nice to see you again. I'm looking forward to a great future here at uh, Jupiter Ocean Racquet Club, um, and uh, you know, look forward to the tips today. Sports Ed TV. Say it, Alice. Sports Ed TV. That's good. my student, Grand Slam winner Alice Ferreira. In my world, we used to flatten out the ball. We hit it really flat, and then we would do a little bit of a rally ball, and then we had sort of a change up. Alice, you take it from there. What does shaping do that changes everything? So, John, what's incredible is now that we now that we can shape the ball, we can now attack at all heights. So, like you said, we used to be attacking very low in what we call window one, which is right on top of that net. Then window two used to be about a rally ball. Window three would be a defensive ball. Now, window one is an attacking ball. Window two is an attacking ball. And window three is an attacking ball. So if you look at the tennis court with regards to the, the numbers on it, way back here would be position three. Position two would be right here on the baseline area. And then position one would be your transitional area. Okay? So now... Based on, based on that, and then the numbers of the windows on top of the net. Window one being just above the net, and then... And, and Alice, can you attack with all three shots at any time? Yes, you can attack deep, you can attack short, you can, you can push them back, you can pull them off. All you have to do is watch Nadal play a few tennis matches, and you'll see how he can attack deep and push the person back, and then he can attack short, pull the person all the way out of the court, which opens up the court. We couldn't do that before. If we did do it, we'd have to hit it very slowly. But they can hit it really hard because they're rotating this ball. They're getting that shape. Can you demonstrate that for us, Alice? Absolutely. So if I'm in position three over here, all I have to do now is hit it up into window three, and that ball is going to land deep. So I'm here. I go position window three, and there that ball lands. Again. That ball is dropping short, right? dropping deep. The other two was a little up and down. Let's see if we get another shape like that. I want you to drive it through the court. Even though the net is the target, that ball's got to keep traveling past the service line before it dips, because we can. So you can see how that ball is going high and deep, and then it's curling and coming back at the last point. That's why these guys can return from back here because that's what they're hitting. They're hitting high and heavy. There's no, the margins are huge. They're not going to hit that ball into the net. And then it's curling and deep and backing up the server. Then they move into position two. This will be a little more like a Djokovic spreader ball, right? Correct. I'm going to keep that ball balanced. Position two. Now I'm going to go through window two. So now I'm standing on position two, which is right on this baseline area. So this is like, like John said, more of a Djokovic type of positioning. So now I'm just dropping deep. So again, in position two, you have good margins. You step up into the court a little bit. The ball is still high over the net, and then it's curling, and then it's dropping, dropping deep and backing up the opponent. Now, if we came into position one. Which is again further up, so this is your transitional ball. Right now, you're going to go through window one, and this is also going to keep them back. As I just said, not every, you can even go a little higher when you move up, but not everybody has that Nadal wrist, so you've got to take what you're given. Alice, so that's good. So now 
there are some of the options of what shaping does. And obviously when you're playing cross court, it does a lot of different things for you too, right, Alice? Right, because when you go wider, we can use these zones, use these windows to now hit the ball off the court and the ball will shape so we can get that up and down on the ball, up over the net, quickly down on the other side, and then it'll shoot our cross court. And it's actually a very easy shot. It's not a difficult shot. Everybody seems to think on TV it's a tough shot. It's not. It's actually very easy. So <laughs> once we once we have the rotational power, we can now shape the ball, John. So now a whole world opens up for us that we were never able to do before. Before, our ball that was low over the net was an attacking ball. The middle ball was more of a, a rally ball, and the higher one was more defensive ball. But now in the modern day game, you'll see the lower ball is attacking, the middle ball about three feet over the net, that's attacking, and then the really high ball, that's attacking. And so what they've done is they've been we, we, we can create strategy zones that allow us to be able to utilize this rotation and what we call windows above the net. And we can attack the ball from any height. Any height, whether it's the shoulder, waist, uh, right, down low, we can attack the ball. So right now I'm in position three. So this is uh, kind of like you will see Dominic team, Nadal back here in position three. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna hit it hard through window three. Okay, so I'm in position three. All right. Oh, that's what we're looking for there. Yeah. Now, cross. now I'm going window two, and then I can, I'm still getting that shape on the ball. And then if I wanted to, I can go window one, and the ball will drop shorter and take the player out. So as soon as, as, soon as the ball goes a little bit wider, I can then use that lower, window and I can take the ball off the ball. Okay, that one. So now I can get it off the ball. A wider jump. There we go. See where that one landed? That one landed inside the service square. And now I can take the opponent off the court. So now all of that is open. So once they get it back, I can now go down the line or I can do a cross court. But the and key that was is difficult to do before. Oh, it was impossible to do. You'd have to hit that so slowly because there's no rotation on our ball. So when I was playing Chang, I could only hit the ball hard and straight, and then he's getting to all those shots. Whereas now, you know, they can take the ball off the court. Once you have rotational power, you are able to shape the ball, and that opens up a whole world for you through the strategy zone to be able to open up the court. All right, that's great, Alice.